guys welcome back to my channel so today's video I'm gonna do the get to know me Q&A so most of these questions are from a template and some of them are from the questions that you guys asked me on Instagram so let's get started okay so some of these are basic questions so the first one is where were you born I mentioned this in my um, uh, intro video and I was born in Michoacan Mexico um, uh, the, little ranch the little rancho I was born is called Sarate, and it's in the municipio de Turicato, if you guys are familiar with the area. Um, so you guys know the ran rancho life. There is, like, absolutely no <laughs> nothing there. And funny, like, funny, crazy story. I was born in a kitchen, in a freaking kitchen. <laughs> so no doctors, no medicine, no nothing. My mom gave birth to me like a freaking champ. So... Um, I actually was when my mom was giving uh, was in labor with me. I actually was sideways. So I forgot what the term is for it. I know there's a term for it. I just can't remember what it's called. So I was sideways. So she was in labor and I was just chilling sideways. And you know, like I said, they didn't have no doctors or nothing. So they had midwives, parteras. Yes, the, yeah, parteras. <laughs> They're called parteras. So um, my mom's midwife actually bailed because she was freaking out that I was sideways and she didn't know what to do. So she just she just bailed. She just left my mom there giving birth. <laughs> like oh my gosh. So my great grandma stepped in, thankfully. And um, mind you, my step grandma was blind. She was completely blind. So she freaking stepped in, turned me the right way, and like gave birth to me. Like helped my mom give birth to me and it's it's crazy story and i don't know how my mom did it like to freaking do that with no medicine or nothing like i don't know how they did it in mexico honestly i don't even know how they had so many kids when they had to give birth like that um so that's like a little crazy birth story of mine <laughs> and then the next question how old are you i am 25 years old my birthday is may 22nd team gemini <laughs> My mom is like so super, like not superstitious, but she believes in that. She's like, you and your brother are the same because you guys are both Gemini's. I'm like, okay, mom. <laughs> but anyways, next question. What is your favorite food? So I can't decide what my favorite food is, um, but for sure Mexican. Like I like all, all types of food, Chinese, Italian, American, but Mexican is hands down my favorite. I love to eat sopes, tacos, you know, you know, everything. Mexican would be my favorite food. What is my favorite drink? You guys know it's coffee. I cannot live without my coffee. So um, I do have my coffee every single day. Um, what I try to do is not have anything else throughout the day but water. So I really try not to drink any soda. Um, I've been drinking some energy drinks lately and I just had to put a stop to it because that's one, way too much, way too much sugar. And two, like I really want to stick to just drinking coffee in the morning and water throughout the day. Um, next question, siblings. So I did. I also mentioned this in my intro video. I am the oldest of four siblings. I am 25. My sister is 24. She's only 11 months younger than me. Um, my brother's 20, and my little sister is 15. Um, next question. What do you like to do on your free time? <laughs> I don't have free time. <laughs> I don't really have free time you know the time that I do have you know free time I like to spend it with my husband with my kids for sure um, what I like to do like on my own little free time is for sure listening to music I would love listening to music like music is my little escape I love it but obviously can't do that with kids because you have to be attentive especially with my son you cannot you have to be hearing what he's doing <laughs> um, and also, I like going on Pinterest. I love Pinterest. Pinterest has like everything you can ever imagine. All the inspo you can ever imagine. And I do like going on TikTok too. TikTok is hilarious. Um, so when I do have a little free time to myself, I do like to go on there. Next question, favorite animal. So I'm pretty sure you guys know this. My favorite animal is a cheetah. I love cheetah print. I've always loved cheetah since I, like, I was in high school. Um, second question, what is the most bizarre encounter you've had? So... The most bizarre encounter. So when my dad died, we did a car wash um, in a corner of a busy street in Sacramento. So we did a car wash and we were there holding the signs. And then I remember 
I remember this clearly. clearly. So uh, we were there holding the signs at the corner of the stoplights and then across the street was a gas station. And I remember just seeing a guy just park there like facing us. And then I was like, okay, whatever. But, you know, I started getting suspicious. So I look, at, I look over to the guy and then he's telling me to come here. Like, come get in my car. And I was just like, I just pretend not to see him. And then... <laughs> And then I look again and he's still telling me like come here. I was like, oh heck no So I just like was like no, I just shook my head I was like nope and then now I remember thinking like should I go tell my uncle should I go tell him should I go tell him But they were like on the other side washing the car So I was just like just ignore him just ignore him just ignore him and that was like just like one of the scariest creepiest encounters I've had <laughs> Next question. What is your favorite color? So I don't really have a favorite color I would say I really like neutral tones, like neutral pink, neutral tan, neutral brown, neutral gray, like in that category. Um, I don't really have like a specific one. And next question, what scares you the most? So what scares me the most is car accidents. Car accidents scare me the most. Like I try not to think about it because I'm putting scenarios in my head that are most likely not going to happen, but I just it's just big a big fear of mine that I have getting in a car accident like it scares me next question have you had any paranormal encounters so <laughs> i haven't really had any like you know real world paranormal encounters and i'm so glad i didn't because i would die i am scared of ghosts <laughs> so i had a couple um you know experiences the first one it wasn't really scary because i knew that it was my dad so i wasn't really scared um this happened when i was living with my mom um and i remember it was the actually the time i was running from home for homecoming queen and i had i remember i had posters i had like so many things uh like how do you say it? scattered not shattered <laughs> so many things scattered like in my room papers everything and i remember the nighttime i just woke up and then like i heard like shuffling in the papers and like i heard and i felt like somebody just like was standing next to me and they just left that way so i for sure like right away knew it was my dad so i didn't really get scared um this the second time I, that one was a little bit more scary so the second time that i ever experienced something was when i lived with my in-laws um so when i lived with my in-laws and i was um dedicated to working out back then i would always work out in the nighttime i would work out in the nighttime and i would work out outside in the dark <laughs> I remember like I would get at work at the taco truck like at 12 in the morning and there I am at 1 in the morning running on the treadmill so I would work out super late I remember this one time um it wasn't that late I think it was like around 9 p.m and I was on the floor I think it was doing like something with abs and then I see like a big black shadow just pass by me like on the corner of my eye I see it and then to me I was just like this is the dog that was a dog like I didn't really pay much mind to it so whatever i seen the big black shadow and i was like it's a dog and then i turn around and i freaking see the dog come out of the laundry room this way and i'm like like what the heck just happened <laughs> so i just like literally stood there like trying to process what happened i'm just like all right i'm out <laughs> so i just stopped mid-workout and i just went back inside i'm like no not working out and then so late ever again <laughs> so that's like that's Really, like, the only times I've ever experienced something paranormal. Next one, favorite music genre. So, you guys know I love HL and I love uh, Nathanael Cano. I wouldn't really listen to Spanish music before, but when my husband, like, showed me Nathanael, I was like, ooh, I like this music. Um, but HL, HL is, like, my favorite person, hands down. I love his music just because he just has such a variety of, of vibes. And he sings in Spanish, he sings in English, like, he's... I love him. <laughs> I love his music. Um, next question. Favorite TV show? So I don't watch TV anymore. I don't have time to watch TV. But when I uh, when I did, I used to really be into Forensic Files. Forensic Files and the first 48 crime shows like that. I was really into those. Next question. What made you interested in makeup? So um, I'm not going to say I was always like a girly girl because I wasn't um, I'm, I'm sure you guys remember in high school when I would wear my Jordans and you know just be like tomboyish um, I didn't really start being a girly girl until like my junior year in high school I, can, I would say 
Um, then I started like dressing up more, wearing jewelry and stuff like that. And um, I didn't get into makeup until I, after high school. So I was pregnant with my daughter when I did start getting into makeup. In high school, I would just wear uh, black eyeshadow, black eyeliner, and mascara. <laughs> That's all I would wear and lashes. I wouldn't wear foundation or do my eyebrows. So I didn't start wearing foundation until I was 19 years old. Crazy, right? <laughs> So um, that's the time. So it was like that was a time where when makeup, the makeup industry really started going up. So like Jaclyn Hill um, was the first one of the people that I would watch, and then Eva XO I always watched her. Um, so basically, when like the makeup industry started uh, growing, that's when I started getting into makeup as well. Uh, next question: Do you plan on having more babies? Yes, I do want a third one. But honestly, the only thing that holds me back is obviously I work uh, 40 hours a week and I'm not going to bring a child into this world if I'm going to not be able to raise him. You know what I mean? Um, I'm so thankful that for my, my other two kids, you know, I was able to stay home and, you know, be with them. And, you know, I'm not going to go on and have a baby right now if I'm, not, I'm just going to go put him in a daycare or go put him for somebody else to watch him. You know, like that's just that's my thing. That's the only thing that's holding me back is having a full-time job but eventually yes i do want to have more kids so get it. um what is your biggest pet peeve about each other about about my husband so i asked him what was his biggest pet peeve about me and he didn't answer like he didn't give me an answer but i'm pretty sure it's because that i spend money i like to spend money um and my biggest pet peeve of him of his oh my gosh it's when he leaves his socks his shoes it's clothes on the floor like it drives me insane like it really does and i even try to threaten him <laughs> i'm like if you don't put your stuff in the hamper i am not washing it and it it, it doesn't phase him it didn't phase him so <laughs> it's just something i have to live with i guess but yes that drives me nuts um next question good advice on how to be constant with workouts so um so really honestly you guys it's getting yourself used to it i'm pretty sure you've seen the quote where it says it takes like 21 days i believe to create a habit it is literally that so like and they also say how they also say the hardest part is to start like it's so true you guys so the hardest part is to start once you start and once you like be consistent and uh, get yourself used to that routine like you will not take no for an answer and when you don't work out like you feel so uncomfortable because you're already used to it so literally the key is starting and being consistent and once you are being consistent you're you will just get used to it it will like it will come naturally to you so just start get yourself your body used to it, get yourself used to the routine and i promise you like it's gonna become a habit um, where and where do you get your ex exercise routine workouts? So I get all my workouts on Instagram um, Let me show you guys a few of the people I follow So I just go on Instagram like the explore page and I just browse through and save whatever workouts that I like So for example on my saved categories, I don't know if you guys can see this I have like all these categories saved. So this one I have lower body workouts and I have like Maybe if it will show So <laughs> I have like my workouts and categories, full body workouts, upper body workouts, and lower body workouts. It'd be nice. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, like I have tons of workout ideas saved. Uh, my favorite people would have to be Sugary Six Pack. Like she does so many home workout ideas and oh, I'll it out. I have always watched her. I love her. Also, let me show you these two so this one is mr and mrs muscle i love their workouts and they also show like a modified version of it for beginners so i love them one of my favorites as well and the other one that i really like getting ideas from is cindy you fitness she does so many home workouts and those three are like probably my top three but i usually just go to the explore page and i have like a bunch of workouts come up and i save them and then next question. What do you like to do on the weekends? 
Um, it's not really what I like to do, it's what I have to do, I have to clean. So I work Monday through Saturday um, and I only have Sunday to do everything that I need to do and it's honestly like annoying. But it is what it is. Um, but Sunday I, or Saturday I only work till two so I do have the whole afternoon um, and I do have Sunday. So I have half a Saturday and Sunday to really do what I need to do so I clean for sure, deep clean the house, the bathrooms, everything. And then I take time to spend with my kids for sure on Sundays. Um, so Sundays is my cleaning days, laundry days, and spend time with my kids days. So that's basically what I do on the weekends. Um, next question. How do you manage your marriage and having two kids and having date nights? You guys, I'm going to be straight up honest with you. This is an area that I will, we need to work on a lot because we, we have date nights, but literally the last time we had a date night, I think was in December. <laughs> And that is bad. You have to have keep having those date nights. Keep that um how do you say it? that vibe going. I don't know how to say it. You have to keep that going, guys. It's so so important to take time to like for each other. Um one of the reasons why I think like we don't do it as much is because I have the biggest mom guilt of life. I if I don't take my kids with me, like I just have like the mom guilt literally kills me inside like it really does so I feel like that's one of the reasons why we don't do it so often but you know I am aware that we need to get back to it hopefully soon this weekend I'm hoping we can have another one because when we do have them you guys it helps so much it helps so much to spend that time together alone like even if it's just eating out like it's so crucial in a relationship so crucial so I know it's hard but you guys have your relationship as a priority. I know it's hard when you have kids. I know it's hard when you work. I know it's hard when you have just such a busy life. Trust me, I know. But you cannot forget about your relationship, you guys. You cannot. And like I said, it's just this is an area that we really need to work on as well, personally. Um, okay, next question. Where do you shop for your office wear? So um, I mentioned this in my Fashion Nova haul. You guys, like 80% of my clothes is from Burlington. <laughs> I love Burlington. That is my favorite store ever. Um, most of my clothes are from there. Um, sometimes TJ Maxx, sometimes Marshalls. Ross, once in a while I'll go. But Burlington is like my jam. And then like when this whole coronavirus thing happened... Um, I did order um, from Forever 21 and Fashion Nova as well um, some work clothes. They have really good work clothes. But um, Forever 21 was my store too. Like it used to be my store favorite store ever until their clothes started getting smaller and smaller. So I know that's the trend right now. Crop tops, body suits. But I'm just like, you know, can we have something for the moms? <laughs> that have the mom bellies? But, um, uh, I do like their clothes somewhat too, Forever 21. I just have, I just ha I just struggle so much with clothes because, like, I am in between, like, I am too big for regular sizes, but I'm too small, like, way too, no, I am too small, wait, hold on, I am too big for normal sizes and I'm too small for plus sizes, like, I am literally in the middle and it's so annoying, so annoying, because I get large and then they're too small and then I get extra large and then they're too big, like, literally, they're, I don't have a specific size, it's annoying, <laughs> but Burlington, I love Burlington, and the next question, have you ever been to the hospital? Other than um, giving birth, I have never been to the hospital, thank goodness. Um, next question, have you ever got in trouble with the law? <laughs> actually, I, I actually rewind that to that previous question. If I ever been to the hospital, I did break my arm in seventh grade. So I lied. So yes, I did go, I have been to the hospital other than birth. Um, but next question, have you ever been in trouble with the law? Yes, I have been arrested. <laughs> when I was 14, I did get arrested. So... And it's, it's over, oh my gosh, okay, so I'm going to tell you guys the story. So we went shopping to the mall, right, me and my sister. We go into Sears, and then um, I find I found this little beret, you know, where berets used to be in back then, um, the little hat that goes, like, you know, just back here. 
So I seen one and then I was like, oh my gosh, it's so nice. But it didn't have a price tag or anything on it. So I'm like, oh, somebody, my 14 year old brain was like, oh, somebody must have left it. You know, somebody just dropped it here or something, lost it. So what do I do? I put it in my bag that I had. And then as we walk out the store, the security comes and he's like, can we have our hat back? I'm like, what, wait, what? And then they freaking got me. Like, I remember I was crying and crying and crying. I tried to tell them, like, no, like, I, I, I didn't think that it was the stores. And they were like, no, you should put it in your bag. That's stealing. And I was like, oh, my gosh. So I got arrested. I remember in the, when I was in the patrol car, I was just crying the whole way, <laughs> the whole way there. Um, but I didn't spend to do jail time or anything like that. I just literally just got booked and my parents picked me up. But that was, like, the worst thing ever, ever. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the only time I've ever gotten in trouble with the law. Um, next question. Do you have any nicknames? Yes, I do have nicknames. And you guys, like, it's so funny having my name. Like, I literally have so much fun with it. Um, uh, like, when people ask me for my name, I'm just like, are you ready? You sure you want to know my name? <laughs> I don't know. It's just so funny. And then, like, crazy thing is I already have a crazy first name. And then my husband gives me an even crazier last name. So, like, I feel like when I tell people my name, they literally just look at me confused. Like, what? What did you say? What language did you speak? <laughs> it's so funny. Like, when I go to, when I order um, from restaurants and stuff, I never tell them my name. I just say Aaron because if I tell them Aaron Dira, they're going to make me spell it out. And I'm just going it, to, it's just too much, too much work. So, I just tell them Aaron. <laughs> but, um, so, that's like my... They say my food order name is Erin. Um, my family, my mom, my sis, like my siblings, my you know other family, they call me Erendi. Erendi is for short for Erendira, so they call me that. And then <laughs> stops. So my sister still call me stubs, still call, calls me stubs. So they call me stubs because of my thumbs. My thumbs are like going up my biggest insecurities. I hate my thumbs. But at the same time, like my dad used to, my dad had them like this. So it's like something I have from him. But oh my gosh, I am just so insecure about my thumbs. They're small and chubby. Like, do you guys see this? <laughs> so that's why my family, like my sister calls me Stubbs. And I was actually like this guy in seventh grade who came up with a name. So, and it still stuck with me till today. So, <laughs> yeah. So next question, best relationship advice. So uh, me and my husband have been together for almost 10 years. Um, we have been married for six years. We have been married to the church for one year. So um, my best advice would be like, honestly, you guys, everybody, every single couple in this world goes through stuff. Like every single person goes through stuff. Like you really have to... Find somebody that is going to be worth fighting those battles with because, first of all, perfect person doesn't exist. So, you guys know, like, a relationship is work. A relationship is constant hard work. Um, so, like I said, my biggest advice is finding somebody that all that hard work and battle is worth fighting for and um you know i i had made a post about this on my instagram i can't remember exactly what it said but it was like um what did it say it's like uh, basically saying that i cannot you cannot take this is how i am as a person as an excuse and let me tell you guys that is not a freaking excuse because i used to use that excuse this is how i am and that is not an excuse because you can change you can grow. So when people come at me and say, this is how I am, no. Like, no. <laughs> when a person loves you and truly cares for you, they will change, you guys. Period. Period. If that person doesn't change, that person doesn't love you. Period. So um, don't take this is how I am as an excuse. If you love somebody, you will change. If you really care about somebody, you would obviously work things out so and also one like the biggest things i have learned as well is you cannot you cannot give to others if you don't work on yourself and i mean it life in life in general like you cannot be a good mom or you cannot be a good wife or a good 
sister or a good daughter if you don't work on yourself first. So you cannot, in a relationship, if each of you is not working on your own happiness, then you're not going to get happiness together. Like, that is facts. So in order to have a good relationship, you have to have happiness within you and then happiness within that other person as well to make that relationship work. So really, my point here, it's all in you. So you have to work on yourself first to be able to give to others. So that's um, my best relationship advice that I have. Um, and last question. So I get this question a lot. How do I do it? How do I manage so much in my life? So I work a full-time job. I have two side hustles. Uh, and I have my YouTube that I'm working on. And I have my house. I have my kids. And I have my husband. So how do I... And I also work out. So how do I freaking do it? Okay, you guys. So honestly, the secret here is um, organizing yourself. There is time for everything in the day, you guys. There is time for everything. We all have the same 24 hours. Nobody got 25, nobody got 22. We all have the same 24 hours. So if I'm able to accomplish all doing everything that I that I do in one day, like, why can't you? Like, you guys, there's time for everything. You have to organize yourself. If you if you have all these things to handle and you're not organized, you're you're gonna you're gonna fail like you're not gonna be able to do stuff if you're not organized organize yourself set routines for yourself that's how you get stuff done and also not in excuses like no excuses for me i absolutely have no excuses i have this vision i have you know this dream life that i want to live and i am not taking any excuses so no it's not an answer for me or I'm too tired it's not an excuse for me I don't have time it's not an excuse for me and you guys don't get me wrong like I am well aware that I cannot how do you say I physically cannot do this every single day I do have to rest I do have to take the time to rest because what you're gonna do is you're gonna burn yourself out <laughs> I'm well aware of that but like it's so hard for me to rest because when I when I just sit down and do nothing like I go nuts I can't I can't just sit down and do nothing like I don't know I'm just a natural born workaholic and then you know I <laughs> I need to learn to rest and don't get me wrong I do like on Sundays I like I said I dedicate the time to my kids um, so really again comes down to organizing yourself organizing yourself is key. So that's basically all the questions that I got. Uh, yeah, that's all the questions that I got. Um, thank you guys for watching. I loved uh, talking to you guys and hopefully you guys learned a little bit more about me. <laughs> but that's it for today's video. If you guys liked it, please like it. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. And I appreciate all your guys' support. And stay tuned for more videos.